$1 garage sale find just this afternoon. So this is an action figure that was produced by, let's see, who? Kenner. So 1993 figure. So let's take a look at the articulations. Basically, it's just the head, sideways movement, full rotation on the ball of the shoulder, but no T poses or no articulation on the elbow. No articulation on the waist. Just forward kicks, backward kicks, and that's the articulation point for this whole figure. So why did I buy this action figure? Basically because of the black color and the gold paint on this action figure. Reminds me of the 1989 Keaton Batman. So we're going to transform this guy. We're going to take off all of those gold paint. I understand that I made a research. This is the um, Ninja Batman with the Ninja Robin figure. So it, it was part of a two figure set with accessories. So this is no longer a complete set. It's just this action figure, no cape, no accessories. So let's transform this action figure. So with the aid or help of this nail polish remover, the ultra powerful variety, presenting 1993 Batman animated series with a feel of a 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. So that's just the color. So let's do a 360. Do I need to put a cape on this? Mm, no, don't need to put a cape on this because this is going to be paired with my 1993 Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. So let's put in the Batmobile into frame. So I have my 1993 Batman the Animated Series Batmobile and finally we have a pilot for this Batmobile. So let's open up that canopy and expose the figure. So that is how the figure looks inside the cockpit. So single seater Batmobile. And the added feature of this Batmobile is going to be a aircraft of some sort. So this is how the figure looks in this half of a bat wing so for its intended purpose as an accessory to this batmobile i finally have a pilot for this thing so if you like my video like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure Review.